So say you have some files on your computer and you're working on a website and you want to put it on GitHub. Well, you make an account, you do new repository, uh, let's name it. And you don't click this because you want to import an existing repository from your local machine to this remote repository that we're creating. Um, so next you want to open up your command line interface. I'm using git bash, but you can also use CMD. Uh, this PowerShell that comes with Windows, but I'm assuming that anyone watching this video has installed Git, uh, so that includes Git Bash. Um, and if you're on Mac OS, you can use the terminal, but uh, you want to change the directory to this directory that has your files. Uh, then you go there and you want to run Git in it, and this creates uh, an empty Git repository uh, in this directory. Um, and next, you want to run this command. Um, and this creates a remote repository uh, named origin. And the URL is this, which is this, repository, this remote repository. Um, and you can check uh, your remote servers by uh, doing git remote. See, there we have origin. Uh, the next, you want to run this command, um, and some, but sometimes you'll get this error, uh, and that's because you haven't added your files. So you want to do git add dash a, and the dash a just means all files. Um, if you're on a Windows computer, sometimes it'll give you this warning. Um, and then after you do that, you want to commit these files that you just added, and the dash m means you want to add a message, and it's do initial commit and press enter and then once that once that is done loading um, we can run this command again and just press up in the command line interface to run through your commands that you've already run and then press uh, enter and once that's done we can refresh this page and you'll see that the git repository that's on your local machine uh, it's connected to the remote repository, which is just a version of your local files on your computer. And there you go.